I have visited almost all of the famous castles around and in Copenhagen and this is my favorite one. So I visited Christiansborg, Amalienborg, Rosenborg and Frederiksborg. And there will also be a tip at some point of this video about how to skip the line in Rosenborg. First up, I visited Christiansborg. So Christiansborg is both a palace and a government building. The Prime Minister actually works here. The Crown Prince recently had an 18 year old birthday, I think last year in 2023. There is an amazing stable with a few horses. If you love horses, you definitely should come here and see how they take care of the horses. There's specific horse tradition that they try to uphold as a monarchy. There's also a free tower that you don't have to pay for. You do have to go through security though. It's actually home to one of the best restaurants in Copenhagen. I didn't have time to go there, but the view is pretty good. I mean, it's free. If the line is not too long, it's worth it. The highlight in this castle for me though, is the tapestries. The royal tapestries here are so beautiful as they are just made recently they are very modern tapestries a lot of it is up to interpretation the tapestries portray the history from viking and also about the future as well and how the artist predicts the future of denmark and the world will be it's pretty impressive the next castle that i visited was amalienborg this is the current resident of the royal family the king and the queen and the children all live here they mainly talk about the current monarch their contribution to the society what they have achieved and things like that. It is pretty small. You can see everything in one and a half to two hours. It is also really close to Marmorkirchen and it has an amazing dome. One of my favorite bakeries, which is Hart Bakery, is also around the corner. If you want to see all the bakeries that I've tried in Copenhagen and which of them is my absolute favorite, I have included a video somewhere here. Please watch it. Next up, I've got Rosenborg. This is the oldest castle in the city center of Copenhagen. You can definitely spend more time in Rosenborg compared to Amalienborg. The only thing is it does not not allow reservation so people actually have to queue up to go inside the Rosenborg. It can be quite crowded as it's fairly small. Here's my tip about Rosenborg. Definitely reserve your ticket with a time slot. There are two queues. One is a ticket without a time slot and one is a ticket with a time slot. The one without a time slot has an enormous line when I was there. For me because I had a ticket with a time slot I just went through the line went into the castle essentially. If you have a Copenhagen card I definitely recommend going to Amalienborg first because the staff there can actually give you a ticket with a time slot and then you can just show up and get in straight away without having to wait in any line. If you're interested on how to maximize the value of your Copenhagen card, I've got a comprehensive video talking about the Copenhagen card and how I doubled the value of this card. Please watch it here. Finally, I've got Frederiksborg. So Frederiksborg is located an hour away from Copenhagen and it's easily reached by a train. It's located around a beautiful beautiful lake. So for the Frederiksborg, you can also opt in for a boat tour, which I highly recommend if the weather is really good. About the Frederiksborg, it has an impressive dining hall, very impressive service from Sèvres and Flora Danica, and it's got a heavily ornamented chapel, so beautiful, grand organ, and it's a lot less visited compared to the other three. I think it's because of the geographical location. As you can see here, there's not a lot of people walking around the castle, and it's just so much nicer to be able to enjoy with less crowd. I like to think of it as Versailles of Copenhagen without the crowd. The final verdict, Frederiksborg is the clear winner for me. I like the castle so much that you can easily spend a day here, but because I wanted to see the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art as well, I managed to squeeze in both on a very long day trip of 12 hours. It's very worth it, highly recommend. Besides, it's really easy to couple up the Frederiksborg with Louisiana Museum of Modern Art or um, the Kronborg Museum or Palace. If you can't get out of the city and you want to see one of the three castles in the city, I highly recommend Christiansborg. Spend your time properly there. Definitely see the stable and the kitchen and go up the tower if you have got time. If you'd like to watch more about travel destinations that I've been to, like itinerary, my personal tips, budget, please subscribe as I'll be talking about many other travel destinations in the coming months. Thank you for watching. Ciao!